Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants is brought to you in part by KitchenAid for the way it's made. See what's cooking at KitchenAid. We're at Builder's Source Appliance Gallery in Albuquerque, and we are making this delicious oysters Rockefeller with Carrie. And you've got a couple of ingredients that we put in over the break. What were they? Um, just a little aromatic addition. So we have a couple of tablespoons of garlic and minced shallots. Minced shallots, along with the bacon that's crispy nicely. Correct. It smells amazing. Yes, it does. And it's beautiful. Okay, so what is our what is our next step? We've got the oysters chef here. The oysters are ready to go. We're gonna add some fresh spinach to the pan. I believe the recipe calls for about two cups. Sometimes it depends on how fresh, how lush the spinach is and whether you're using baby spinach. This is actually a full-grown spinach variety. And you'll see that it's going to wilt down quite rapidly in the heat of the pan. The heat of the pan from this KitchenAid kitchen. You like cooking in here? I love it. I want one of these in my own house. Yeah, that would be nice. Oh, it smells so wonderful. Okay, and so we are over here. We've got... Tell me the name of this one again. This is a kushi, kushi oyster. Kushi oyster. Can I try one more? Absolutely. Okay, this is a smaller, more delicate. Definitely a, a, a firmer texture, a nice cucumber finish, a light salinity. <laughs> Tastes like the ocean. Okay. Mmm. It is more cucumbery, a lighter. Definitely. Yeah, a little more subtle. Almost flavor. a natural lemon flavor. Yeah, it's so interesting how they, they have such different flavors. Wow. So now I'm going to go back into my pot with a little bit of Sambuca. Oh, Sambuca, okay. Which is a, a, a sweet licorice liqueur. Yeah, I can smell that. And we're going to deglaze mm. the bacon so that it releases from the pan and mixes all these ingredients together nice and evenly. What's deglaze mean? Deglaze means, people that don't know, and I oftentimes, don't mean me. I just mean other people might not know. Absolutely. <laughs> um, deglazing is when you usually use a liquor or you know wine, beer, any type of alcohol works. You can also use water if you don't want to use any kind of alcohol. And what it does is it causes whatever ingredients you're sauteing to release from the bottom of the pan. Okay. And usually it imparts a really nice flavor depending on what type of liquid that you're using to accomplish that. So smells wonderful. Now that we've got all of the wet ingredients nice and evenly married, I'm gonna sprinkle a little breadcrumb over the top and what that's gonna do. That was breadcrumb? Yep. Okay. This is panko breadcrumb. Panko, I've heard of that. Okay. And oh by the way, this recipe can be found on southwestrestaurants.com. It's just gonna pull everything together a little bit more. Beautiful. And once it's all evenly mixed together, you can cut the heat off of your stove and simply top each one of the oysters and once the spinach and bacon topping is on top of each oyster we're gonna quick question you left the the liquid there so the liquid should be there for baking absolutely that All that's right. the brine and in the shell so so that's necessary the brine is necessary for flavor you betcha there's a lot of flavor packed into that brine we're just gonna make a quick topping here of some more panko breadcrumbs a little bit of parmesan cheese We've got chopped parsley so Daniel, you're making the topping that goes on, on top, top of, of this. On top of the topping. Okay. Yes. And a little bit of red pepper flake. And we're gonna go in with just a little bit of lemon zest also. Which smells wonderful. The fresher, the better. Mm. Just give that a quick mix up and right on top. There you go. Go ahead. Me? Yes. Absolutely. Alright. I heard you used to teach um, preschool. Is this kind of like that? Um, well, Letting me do this. <laughs> filming the show might be a little more like that than actually running my kitchen. Oh yeah? <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay, let's go ahead and pop this in the oven. Okay. Carrie, Ready? Are those things done yet? Absolutely. Oh, those are lovely. Wow, so pretty. Oysters Rockefeller. I can't wait to try them. Go ahead and just dig in. The salt should support the bottom of the shell. Okay. You guys can dig in with me? Sure, you bet. <laughs> I right. want to steady it on one side there. All right. You eat the whole thing like when you eat it on the half shot? There yeah, they're, they're kind of hard to bite in half. Okay. So, Here we go. Cheers. 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 Mm. Mm -hmm. The best oyster I have ever eaten. Thank you. In my life. Mm. Please stick around and join us after the break.